And I was sitting in the bathtub again and I came up with another fantastic idea. So in this machine, I just kind of stuck this together. The input would be on the bottom and the output would be up here where we have this crank. So you might want to move this in a bit closer so it's closer to level. So you could see that uh, now this, this angle is a bit much, but if the output, which is on the top in our case, was too much, then this would just turn around. But if the centrifugal force was enough, and this is like 50 pounds or more, so there'd be lots of centrifugal force, uh, it would pull it, um, let's try to hold this, it would pull it kind of like that, sort of 90 degrees, it would pull the input around, uh, I, I mean the output, it's just got a crank on there, the crank would be on the bottom, or you could uh, turn the machine upside down, and you could make it work that way. But I'm trying to keep it simple. So to explain it again, this thing on the bottom would turn freely. You know, just imagine it's almost completely vertical. It would turn freely, right? But the centrifugal force would pull this around because it wants to spin in a larger circle, right? I think that would work. It's that simple.